welcome back to my channel i know it has been a while so two things ignore the background i am in my living room in like my, my kitchen and it's fourth of july so there's a lot of fireworks happening in the background but we're gonna ignore that and so yeah um i do have an explanation as to where i've been for the past eight months and that will be in a separate video but for this video i'll be showing you guys how to make body butter as well as um this video being a wholesale order that i was working on at the time so i just decided to record it it was a custom wholesale body butter if you want the exact same one shoot me an email and we can work the kinks you know but yes thank you guys for keep staying strong with me even though i have not been active on social media for business social media to be exact I have not been active for the past eight months I'm trying like I'm working my way back yeah like I was saying I am working my way back into the whole business scene I kind of needed a break to find myself because I was losing myself in the process so I'm finally getting it back but guys if you are obsessed with this necklace uh, this company sent it to me head over to my personal Instagram and you guys can check it out I have like a whole post of it but yeah so without further ado guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel as well as turn on that post notification bell on to be notified whenever I post a video also follow my personal YouTube channel because we're gonna start posting on there very like very soon so get in there but yeah so enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one Hey angels, so welcome back to my channel and we're gonna get straight into the video. So uh, I'll be using 12 cups of shea butter for this recipe and the cup that you see is 1500 millimeters which is approximately 6 cups and do not be afraid to overfill it a little bit because once the shea butter melts down all the way it will not look like you added 6 cups of shea butter in there so be generous so I'll be cutting into little bit of pieces in order to melt it down faster and you know better guys uh, rather than using a double boiler this time as I previously used in my other videos I'll be using this candle making pot over there um, and I'll put the setting in on warm so it doesn't melt as quickly as it would if you put it in my microwave or something like that so yeah we're gonna add six cups of 12 cups of shea butter we're gonna start off with adding six cups in the beginning and then we're gonna add another six cups soon so the shea butter that we are using is refined shea butter in the beginning of our journey we did use um unrefined shea butter but it was extremely hard to mask the scent of the organic shea butter uh, the unrefined shea butter and we had a little bit of uh, compl any complaints with our customers regarding the smell because they couldn't smell the uh, fragrance that we were adding all they smell with the shea butter so we decided to switch over to refined shea butter but if you're making this recipe it is up to you if you want to use refined shea butter or not or if you want to use unrefined shea butter but we are using refined shea butter shea butter which means that the scent the natural scent of the butter is toned down a little bit whereas now if you add fragrance you will be actually you will actually be able to smell the fragrance that you added in there so yeah now i'm just checking to see if the pot is warmed up a bit and it is time to add our first cup so that's what we're gonna do and then we're gonna add another we're gonna cut up some more shea butters and add it to the cup as and then add it to the pot So now I am cutting up more shea butter so I can make the second cup, which will be six cup of butter. In total would be 12 cups of shea butter. So now I'm just cutting it up and adding it into the cup. And be, please, 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 like I said before, do not be afraid to be generous by putting more and overflowing the cup. Because once all of this melts down, it will not look like it is six cup. It will look like it's so much more, like so much more. <laughs> Apparently, I can't talk. It would, it will not look like it's six cups of shea butter. So do not be afraid to 
overfill it and be careful if you are using the same pot as me whether it's that pot or a double boiler please be careful when adding it in because the oil will splash everywhere and since the oil is a little bit warm it's a little bit hot you might get burned or it might, it might sting a little bit so I'm just using my hand to individually add it little by little without having to burn myself basically so yeah just be careful <laughs> so moving on to the next ingredient our next ingredient will be cocoa butter and i am adding one cup of cocoa butter it was extremely hard to take it out of that um oh what do you say that bucket it was really really hard i had to use a knife in order to like poke it and like go under it in order to do that but yeah so we're gonna use about a about a cup of cocoa butter and we're gonna add that to our shea butter that is um, being melted in the pot y'all remember what I said about adding it slowly yeah I should have taken my own advice because I did not and some of the oil splashed on my arm but I was okay the oil was just warm it was just it just happened <laughs> so yeah just add your cocoa butter and with your shea butter and let that melt down a bit. And here's a close up of what it looks like when everything's melting down together. And yeah, we're going to give it a quick little mix and we're going to move on to the next ingredient. Moving on to the next ingredient, which is our organic coconut oil. I will be adding one and one half cup of that. Um, I can't find my one cup or my one half cup, so I'm going to be using this one fourth cup in order to do this. And yeah, I am so sorry my voice changed within this clip. I am in the process of losing it from a cold. But yeah, let's get going. After measuring out the coconut oil, we're going to slowly and carefully add it into the pot just so we don't um, drop any oil on our skin because it will burn. So slowly and safely added it all in. On to the next ingredient, which is our sweet almond oil. I will be adding one cup of that into the shea butter, cocoa butter, and coconut mix. Um, I did end up taking off my gloves because with my nails, they were absolutely bothering me. But do not worry. I did wash my hands with warm water and soap, and I sanitize it with, every, with alcohol. So we're all set. Now I will be measuring our, our preservative. The preservative that I'm using today is Optifan. And with that, I'll be adding 1% of Optifin in there. Um, whichever one that you use, the bottle does tell you how many percentage of it you should be using. So just check that out. So I am using my measuring, um, uh, my scale in order to weigh out the 1% of Optifin. This will prevent the body butter to um, not, um, what's the word am I looking for? prevent bacteria and mold to form if the body butter happens to get wet and now i'll be adding my air root powder and for air root powder i'll be adding one tablespoon of that and i'll be adding it into the mix what the air root powder does is that it tones down the greasiness of the body butter and although that it does moisturize your skin it's not as greasy as it would be without the arrow powder so we're gonna add that and let wait for that to melt and at that time i had already turned off the candle making pot because i'll be adding my fragrance and i like adding it when it's in the process of cooling down so i'll just add my fragrance and give it a quick mix and let it cool down before pouring it into our stand mixer now I am pouring it into the stand mixer bowl in order to put it in the freezer so I can make the waking process easier. So as you can tell, the fragrance that I use in this body butter is Fruit Loops because this is a custom wholesale body butter, and the which means that the customer chose the scent and the color that they wanted within the body butters or for the body butters to be. So yeah. Once we're done pouring it, we're going to let it sit out for 5 to 10 minutes before popping it in the freezer for 45 to an hour. So once you take it out the freezer, this is how it's supposed to be. The top is supposed to solidify, whereas the inside, the bottom part of the mix is still oily. It's not frozen over. It's not solidified. It's still oily. 
you're gonna see what I mean in a minute. So I'm gonna pop that into the stand mixer and I'm gonna put the head down and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about when I said the top is over five, but the bottom is still oily, which makes the body butter the most creamiest body butter ever once you start whipping it up, you know? So starting off the whipping process, we're gonna whip it on low for two to three minutes. Make sure to put a timer. Because that is how we're going to get it to be the most creamiest and fluffiest body butter ever. At one point, the consistency will be the consistency of a lotion, like a cream lotion. So if that's your preferred consistency, please go right ahead, start pouring it into your cup. But if it is not, keep on whipping just like I'm doing. So be sure to scrape the sides and the, in the middle of whipping because we want everything to mix together and not separately. So towards the end of the three minutes, this is what the consistency will look like. It will look like it is a uh, Vaseline consistency. So we're going to up the speed to medium and then we're going to whip it for three more minutes. And don't, don't worry, like everything will come together. It may look clumpy right now, but once it whips up, it's going to look perfect. So at two minute mark, this is what it will look like. We still have one more minute of mixing to do, but I wanted to stop and scrape off the sides and the bottom of the body butter in order to make sure that everything is incorporated with one another and that everything is mixing. At this point, if everything is mixed, it will be the consistency of a cream lotion. Then you could pour it into the jars and go about your day, but we want a whipped body butter. So we're gonna pop that back up in the mixer and then we're gonna continue it on low speed for the remainder of the three minutes. So we have one minute left and we're just gonna keep mixing it until that time is up. So once the three minute is up, we're going to up the speed to high for five minutes and we're going to whip that thing into consistency like a damn cloud, you know? <laughs> So this is halfway throughout the five minutes and as you can tell it is it doubled in size we just you see those little clumps that are left we're gonna whip it until all of them are gone and we're ready to color it you know at this point our five minute is almost up and as you can tell it tripled in size um, so now we're gonna turn it off and this is the consistency you want. So when you pull up the top, everything is supposed to stop falling. Like it's not supposed to fall down. It's supposed to stay its shape. That's how you know you got the perfect creamiest consistency. Look at this. We pull it up and then everything just stays. You know? That's the consistency that you're looking for. If you do not have this consistency, we need to start over. So I went off camera and mixed the colors together. So we have pink, purple, blue, green, and orange. Now I'm gonna use my press and seal in order to pipe it. If you guys wanna see a video on how I set up my piping and how I set up the colors, I will leave the link to another video down in the description below. You can check that out but I had already went through that process so I decided to skip that for you guys and just get on with it you guys have always wondered where I get my pigments from like I said I get my pigments from three paces Amazon TKB trading and Etsy this particular um, pigments that I use for this body butter I got them off of Etsy I will leave the exact link down in the description below they come in these little black jars and they are neon they are very pigmented and I do not recommend adding a lot just in case you don't want it to stain or anything like that, but a little does go a long way. So to start off the process, we're going to go with the orange first and set that down on the um, press and seal. Uh, plastic. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the word. And then we're going to repeat that with the rest of the colors. Okay, so this is the how we colored them. So we added orange and green, purple and blue, and then pink in the middle. Now we're just going to press those together. This uh, this takes a little bit of work. I had to double press it, double press and seal it because um, I didn't want any of the butter to fall out. But this is how it ended up being afterwards. We're gonna um, twist each end, and then we're gonna cut one end and add it to the piping bag. The end that is cut is the one that's gonna go inside of the piping bag.
So moving on, my piping bag, I get them from Walmart in the baking aisle. So just go there and it'll come in a box of 25, I believe, or something like that. Um, so our body butter made two of them and we already uh, put them in the press and seal so it can make the whole process easier and I don't have to go back and do that again. But the tip that I am using for the piping bag, I believe, is the wide star tip, which I also got at Walmart. So yeah. Um, I piped to already so I can see how it come out, but this is a quick little piping session for you guys. And let me tell you, this body butter smells absolutely amazing. Like, it smells like I've been eating Fruit Loops all day. It smells like cereal, and it's just amazing. So we're just going to pipe that, and yeah. And we're going to pipe the rest, so enjoy the piping little videos. After piping all 20 body butters, this is how they ended up looking. If you guys are interested in any of our wholesale product, whether that's body care or skincare, check out the link down in the description below and you can even message us on there if you're having any issues. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's so pretty y'all, isn't it? Amazing. You made it. You made it to the end of the video. By the way, my shirt, it is dark orange, but when I lean back, it looks light orange, but it is dark orange. But anyways, you made it throughout the entire video. Thank you so much for watching it, and I know it's kind of a long video, and I hope you have grabbed your popcorn or your little notebook to take notes on how to make it. I will I leave everything down in the description below. Without further ado, thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you next time. Bye.